Four. <laughs> All right, I want to keep going. Remember, we only got, uh, we under, hey, we under an hour, we under an hour, we under an hour, I got to get going. All right, so looking at this example, let's try, we're going to try these five examples, and then you can use it to help y'all with the homework. Remember, the homework not going to be doing until Wednesday. No school Monday. What we got here is they're telling us to refer to this number line, right? Let me draw it out real quick. And this number line had an M and a J on it. And it looks like M was at two, J is at 18, and we got all of this in between. Now it's asking us. Yo, all right. <laughs> She's touching me. What? Not on that. Yo, give me the back. Y'all gotta relax. Put that out of the video, guys. Take this outside. Okay, okay, okay. Leave each other alone for for a few minutes here. All right, back to live action. So they're asking us, find the coordinate of point X Meaning we gotta find where point X is gonna fall in between point M X and X to J with the ratio of three to one. So we need a ratio of three to one. Somewhere on this line, our X coordinate is gonna fall somewhere on this line and we gotta figure out what this number is. Does everybody understand what's going on? Who's lost? Y'all seeing what we, yes? Yes? yes. yes. We gotta give the point, the precise point of where X is gonna fall in between M and J, but it's gotta be a ratio of three to one. So using our notes, let's label everything out. What's X1? What's X2? What's the M? What's the end? And we know what the formula is. Eighth grade, raise your hand. No, ninth grade, raise your hand. Tenth grade, raise your hand. Oh, All right. No I'll get those to y'all once we're done. All right, we in the middle, all right, sir. So remember our partition and line segment formula. We're going to have to multiply n times x1, add that to shoot. Adding that to m times x2, and we're going to divide that by m plus n, and then that's going to give us our x. So what's my x1? X1 is 2. My x2 is what? 18. My m is what? M is 3. My n is 1. Now we've had labeled out everything. All we got to do at this point now, Bernardo, is plug it in. All right? So this should look like here. I'm going to just try to change the flavor a little bit. N is 1. So you got 1 times X1, which is what? 2. Two plus M value, which was 3 times X2, which is? All of that's divided by M, which is 
plus the end value of one. Very good. And that's going to give us our answer. When we calculate everything, just to break it down really fast, this becomes two plus, who has 18 plus three? Quick, or 18 times three, quick math, quick math? 48. No, sir, 54. All right? And then that's being divided by four. When you add two plus four, that's going to give you 56 over four. And when I break that down, what's my answer? 48. Nice work. So what they're saying, that the X value on this number line between two and 18 falls at 14. And that's the three to one ratio. So from whatever they got from two to 14, it's the three steps and then there's the one step from 14 to 18. So if you ask me, it's really simple. You can count out the three spots. If it's three slots, how would it go? What point would this be? What point would this be? We know it's 14 here. What are the increments that is going in? From 14 to 18 was what, Kush? Yeah, so that, that's why I, like, counting, right? by, counting by what increments? Uh, four. So this should be what? Four. That should be six. Six, six. and this should be Ten. 10. So now you got, there's your three to one. There it is. 2, 6, 10, 14, and then from 14, 18. That's number one for you. Any questions? What's love? What is it? How old was she? I ain't what I'm smiling at. Trust me, I'm going to have the last laugh. You don't know what I'm laughing at, but it's all good. It's just going to be in the video. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's you see it's going. Oh, <laughs> already got them. Oh, you did. It came already. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I, 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 what are you doing? Go sit down. What are you doing? Go sit down. Go around. Why would you do that? Yo, you're doing too much. I. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I slide? Do y'all have that? Good. All right, sliding. So M comes, M is the first number. Say it again. M is the first number. Always. But then it gets switched around. Exactly. Number two. Whoa. So now, number two. We got the same situation. We're in the same situation with J still being at 18, M still being at two, but this time the game changes. This time they want you to find the coordinate of point Y such that the ratio M to Y and Y to J is two to three. So let's make that adjustment. There's gonna be like two numbers here and it's supposed to be a Y. And then they said, what is it? Two to three. Then it's supposed to be three steps and to get the J. So you've got your two dot dot three ratio that we need. They want to find the value of Y. We gotta find this value right here. We already know that M is at two, J is at 18. So let's label the players again. Yeah, X1 was what? Two. Aha, X2 is? My M is? N is, N is, one. let's go backwards. Wait, it's two. Let's go backwards. X2 is 18, M is what? Two. Two. N is what? Three. Three. You remember that formula? Yeah. You're supposed to have N times X1. So that gives me three times two, which is N 
times x1 plus what's the value of m and what's the value of x2? M is what? Huh? Oh, actually, I went, yeah, M is, say it again, 2. X2 will be? Nice. And we're dividing that all by M plus N. Got it laid out for you. My answer. 3 and 2 makes 6 plus 36 divided by 5, which gives you 42 over 5. That means the value of y on this number line is 8.4. Yes, it's a decimal, and that's okay if it is. Eight point four. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna knock out the next three with y'all, and then I'm gonna give y'all the homework. Easy. Yo. That way you can get it started in class and be done with it, and you got a freer weekend. Slide it. Slide it. Number three. I'm moving. You're going to have to catch it on the replay. They're telling me here, oh, this one is wild. A to W, W to F. I'm going to just put the A up and the F. They want us to find a point W with the ratio A to W, W, F, 1 to 3. So our ratio M and N is one to three. What's my X1? My X1 is negative seven. What's my X2? Five. F value. F value, positive five is your X2. My M, one, my N is three. Setting up. I'm going to switch the color up. Setting up, yeah, you should have N, which is 3, times X1, negative 7. Yep. We need, we need to find the W so that it's in a ratio of 1 to one, two, three. We gotta find what W is. That's what we're looking for. So we already have our N value being uh, three times X1 of negative seven plus the M value, which equals one times your X2, which is what? What's my X2? Five. Five. Dividing all of that by the M plus N. What should I have here? Three and negative seven. Going to give you a negative 21 plus six, all divided by four. Four. What kind of four? Why is it plus six? Four. Negative okay. Four. Negative four. Very good. Mufasa on game over there. So negative 21. Plus six makes what? Uh, why is it plus six? It's not, it's it's not six, sorry. It's one times five. Negative 21 plus six makes negative 16 divided by four, meaning your value for W on this number line is at negative four. So that the ratio, you say oh, W falls on negative four. That's the increment, so you can see if I were to ask you what would be the next three increments, you know that it's going up by three. So your next three increments would be negative one, two, then five. You should be following along and getting that. I ain't hear that, Glenn. Say what? 
bit nope. earlier you were saying something and it sounded like a DJ Khaled quote. Oh, like what? You smart? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it was just like something DJ Khaled would say. Oh. Like the way said. Interesting. All right, hey, we running short on time, so I'm gonna keep going. I mean, you can go back to get it tonight. They now add find the coordinate of x so that the ratio of oh, it's changing now. B to x, x to f is three to two. So we still have our line segment. But this time, we go going B to F. We want B to F, and we're looking for the X value for it to fall in between going three to two. What's the coordinate of point B? What's the coordinate of point B? A little bit louder. Negative five. Negative five. What's the coordinate of that? Five. You already know negative five should be your X1. Five should be your X2. Can somebody line this up for me? Can somebody set me up? So it would be mm. two times negative five. Huh? Two times negative five on like. All right, all right. N value was two times your x one, which was negative five, off to a great start. Plus three times five. Hello, three times five, and we dividing all of that by three plus two. Let's go. Knocking that down, two and negative five. That's going to give you negative 10 plus 15. All of that's divided by 5, which becomes 5 divided by 5, equaling 1. The x value is positive 1. I got that. Last one, I want to move on. One. You got five? Nah, it's one. One. You'll catch it on the replay. That was, it was negative one. You put negative. All right, last one. Then I'm going over with Charlie and y'all got the homework. Last one, we got point Y, but we got to make it say C to Y and Y to E. So we got C to E now. What's the ratio? Four. I mean, uh, one one. Wow, so it's got to be one to one. We're looking for the Y. Wait, what? Yes, you got to show your work. Wait, what's, what's C? Tell me. Uh, that's negative four. Huh? C is negative four. Yes, sir. Negativo cuatro. Que es A? Where is it? Where is it? We, yeah, right here. We've only been doing the rest of the questions right here. Hey, welcome to Earth. 616. You're going to love it here. What's my ratio? So this should be easy money. You should be setting this up. You should have one times negative four plus one times what? Two divided by one plus one. 
Calculating everything, that gives you a negative four plus two, all over two. Negative four plus two. Negative two. Divided by two, our point is negative one. So that last question was one, and then this question was negative one. Y'all good or y'all want to see one more? How about this side? I'm good. All good? good. You done for the day? Solid. Okay. How many questions is there?